Sup fam fellers, welcome to my dorm tour. So here at UC Davis, I specifically live in the Segundo Residence Hall, specifically in Reagan Hall, specifically in Sereno Hall. So my room is a double, so we got two beds in here. We got one right here, this is my roommate's, ah! And we got one over here, this is mine. The better one, of course. <laughs> each room comes standard with two dressers, with three drawers each for you and your roommate. They also come standard with two desks, with four drawers each. We got this drawer, this thing, this drawer, this drawer, and a deeper one. Wow! Also, every dorm comes standard with one of these shelving units that you can either put on the ground, or like I did, on the dresser, or you can even put them on your desk. Each student also gets their own closet with two shelves at the very top. And this thing is very deep. I got my hamper in there. I also got a sleeping bag, a tent, and a bunch of other stuff. Sick! And we got ourselves a nice little evacuation plan. Wow! Oh, and don't forget the mirror. And directly next to the door, we got ourselves a nice little shelving unit with five shelves, all varying heights so that you can put whatever you want in there. The cool thing about the dressers is that there's an extension in the back that you can flip up to add more space. This whole part, all this back here, that all flips up. So you can add like your shelving unit, like I did. Sick! It's also true for the desk here. Back here, where this line is, this line right there, that all is the extension. It flips up just like the one on the dresser, so you can put more stuff there. I put a fan, my desk lamp, my PS4, and my PC there. Woohoo! Every room also comes standard with two lamps, one for you and your roommate. And they're pretty darn bright, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Each room also gets a giant bulletin board that you can pin up anything you want. I have a nice UC Davis flag, old maps of California, because why not? A Casablanca poster from my room, Danny Phantom, that thing, that thing, and these beauties. Yeah, that's Jimmy Carter and Nixon. Heck yeah. On the other hand, my roommate has all this stuff. Cool! Each room comes equipped with quite a number of outlets, and it's a very, very good idea to get a surge protector, like this one. Now underneath the desks we have about six to eight outlets if you run all the way to the other end. All the way down there. Also in every room there is a ethernet cable. Uh, if you're gonna use an Xbox or a PS4, you're gonna have to connect it via this ethernet cable because the Wi-Fi here, it's called EduRoam, does not connect to uh, game consoles, which really sucks. Whee! You also get two office chairs per room, one for you and your roommate. Now, uh, each of these chairs, they swivel, they go up and down, and they get armrests. The only caveat I have to these is that they're not too comfortable, so if you're sitting in here for long hours studying, your back and your butt are gonna hurt. You also get a nice handy dandy recycling bin, and a trash can, all for free. Oh. Now the cool thing about the beds is that they come in three different heights. This one is the standard lowest one. And they come in a little, and then they come in another one that's just a little bit higher. And then they got another one, the third one, it's all the way at the top. That's the loft, the highest one. And depending on how, how high your bed goes, you get all the storage space underneath. Now this is the underside of my bed. You got two boxes right there. The one on the top is for shoes, the one on the bottom is for miscellaneous stuff. And that right there, that's a mountain bike. Also a backpack. Who cares about that? I keep my bike underneath here because I'm on the mountain bike team. So, this is the one I use to race. Now, I don't use it to, you know, ride it on campus because that would be stupid. It might get stolen. Each room also comes standard with a handy dandy thermostat. Now, unfortunately, Reagan is pretty old. And an example of how old it is, is that the rest of the school, all the other buildings like Tercero, Quarto, and I think the other buildings in uh, Segundo, you can change in between. You can change between having the heater and the AC on all year round. Unfortunately, here in Reagan, you can't do that. That is controlled by student housing. So sometimes what will happen, like, the, like it happened this year, is that it'll be spring quarter. It'll be around 80 degrees outside, and the heater will still be on, not the AC. That's the only real downside to Reagan. Now, Sereno also has a lot of murals. And this is because in the past, Sereno was the Arts and uh, Music LLC, which means Living Learning Community. So all the artsy people lived in here. So we got some cool paintings, except for this guy. He's bad, very bad. Now this is the Sereno Lounge. All their lounges in Reagan look more or less the same. There's a couple tables, a bunch of couches that you can sit on, a TV, 
Uh, some murals on the wall, maybe. Uh, Sereno has a weird quilt on the wall. And fun fact, Sereno is the only lounge in Reagan that has a piano. Also in the lounge is the kitchen. There's a couple cabinets up top, there's a stove, there's a sink, there's a microwave, and there's a fridge that you can use. Now unfortunately in Sereno, the men's restroom is downstairs. And there's only one, and the women's is upstairs. And there's also only one. So this means that everyone in the building has to share two bathrooms. All the guys have to use one bathroom and then all the girls have to use one bathroom. It also kind of sucks because if you're a guy living upstairs, like moi, you have to walk downstairs to use the restroom all the time. Each bathroom has four stalls, three normal ones and then one handicapped one. And then there's also uh, five shower, shower stalls in total. Uh, one of them is a handicapped one in the men's. And then upstairs in the women's, uh, one of theirs is a bathtub. If you need me, I gotta go use it. <laughs> oh, hi there. I didn't see you there. I was just using some of the laundry. Oh, you want to come inside? Well, by all means, come up. So in the laundry room, we got two dryers and two washing machines. Unfortunately, you have to pay for them both, which really sucks. Ooh, you also get a nice sink and a courtyard. That locks if you go outside. Oh no, 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 no. Oof, that was scary. You almost got locked outside. Well, shall we uh, continue the tour? <laughs> Let's go. Now outside of every building in Reagan, we got a bunch, and I mean a bunch, of bike parking. Ooh, speaking of Reagan, let's go see the other buildings. First off, we got Indio, then Talara, Paloma, Nova, Rienda, Campo or Campo, and best of all, Sereno. That's where I live! This is Reagan as a whole. It's been raining a little bit frequently, so it's very, very green. And there's Sereno. And Indio. Now this cool looking building is Reagan, Maine. Think of it as the lounge for all the different Reagan buildings. Let's go inside, shall we? So Reagan, Maine has two restrooms and two water fountains that can be used anytime. It's also got a cool little lounge area where there's a TV and a bunch of couches. Sick! If you go upstairs in Reagan, Maine, there's the study lounge. Inside, there's a couple chairs, a couple tables, more chairs, more tables, and it conveniently looks out over the rest of Reagan, Maine. And this here is Reagan, Maine. It's very, very big. Got some chairs over here, got a kitchen over there, got a giant flat screen TV over there. This is the kitchen. We got ourselves a nice cute little fridge that they can put stuff in, including yourself. There's a sink. Microwave, stove, and an oven that you're free to use. Heck yeah. Regular is also a great place to have a movie night on like a Friday. Sick! Oh. All in all, Reagan's pretty good. Even though it is, you know, some of the oldest buildings on campus, they're really cool. They got a great sense of community. And I've met all of my like really good friends here, and it's really one of the best one of the best dorms on campus. So if you do end up being in Reagan, it's not going to be that bad. It's going to be pretty fun, and honestly, I love it. Well, I gotta go. I gotta go hit those books. I did it.